Alright, here's a game called Prison Ball. For grades 4 to 8, you'll need foam balls. So here we see the gym divided into two halves, and you're going to have to use some end lines to create some prison areas, or some zones for the prisons. And you'll have one team on one half, and against the other team on the other half. And here we see the corresponding prisons. This is a dodgeball type game, so you're using those foam balls, so you can throw those in here, and uh, we'll see how this game works. Now, if you don't want to do throwing as a regular dodgeball, you can always go rolling at the feet of the opponents. So it's a team team dodgeball game, one team versus the other, and it's a very very simple idea. What happens is if a player gets hit, so here we see a purple has thrown it and hit the yellow player. Then that yellow player has to go to the purple side and they're stuck in the prison on purple side. They're not out of the game because what happens when they're in the prison if they can get a ball and they can throw the ball and successfully hit one of those uh, players from purple then that player from purple goes to the yellow side prison and the person who threw it gets to go back. So they, they save themselves, they get to go back to their team. And uh, that's the basic idea. Here we see yellow has thrown it and hit another purple player. So that player goes into the prison. And again, yellow player has thrown it and hit another purple player. So that player will then travel into the prison. So anyone who gets hit gets to go in, has to go into the prison. And of course as the balls roll there they can grab them and try and throw them back to save themselves. A round is over when all the players are stuck in a prison and then you can do a new round. And that's it. That's the basic idea for this game. It's it's a great way to have a, an extra tactic for dodgeball where players have to be aware of their whole surroundings, not just what's in front of them, but what's behind them as well as the balls go back and forth. And uh, yeah, that's it.